All right, welcome back, Peck Doctor time. We got Dr. Larson here. Good morning, with Tim. Lolly. Lolly. Who fooled me? He asked me what breed she is, and the coloration I, I had no idea. Yeah, what was your guess? She was in the carrier. I'll I guess you Chihuahua because of the face. I wasn't even close. But I gave a hint. She's black and tan. She's a Rickettsial dog. Boston Terrier. Boston Terrier. She's a beautiful uh, brown and white Boston Terrier. There's not as many of those guys around. There are a few. Yeah, the black and white is much more. Yeah, we prevalent. see many more of those. Um, we're going to talk about a skin condition that puppies can get. Uh, it's called puppy juvenile pyoderma. You have it. What is it? Well, we can give a couple other little names too. Okay. Juvenile pyoderma, we dropped yeah. the puppy out. Some people call that puppy strangles. Interesting. Unusual name, but there's a reason for that too. So uh, it's a skin condition like we talked about. What are you gonna look like on the puppy when they have it? What does it look well, like? All the clinical signs are from the neck up. Oh, okay. That makes it, a, so it's characteristic. We have a dermal problem, a dermatized problem with the head area, we were suspicious. Now they look like they have a, uh, they get a swollen face, really a swollen head, swollen lymph nodes. Uh, everything on a head is swollen. In fact, they swell so much that you really don't even recognize that as your puppy. Holy cow. Uh, it can happen from three to 16 months of age. So it's got a long duration yeah. for puppies. And those lymph nodes get so swollen that uh, they, they can hardly breathe sometimes. Oh my gosh, what causes it? That's a good question too. Now we know that if we have a puppy with a juvenile puppy pyoderma and we have with other puppies, same age, they never get it. It's not contagious. Maybe some siblings might have it, but unlikely. Okay. Maybe I think a couple of times I've seen more than one puppy in a litter. It's immune mediated. It has it with the immune system where the immune system uh, allows the, the, uh, uh, the uh, too, uh, too much activity to go on in, in the body's immune system okay. and it allows bacteria and other things to cause infections as a secondary problem with it. So um, juvenile puppy pyoderma is a bit unusual because no it's kidding. just on the head. Well, that's kind of making it a tough one. Is there an infection it that is. can happen? It is. Now, it's, you'd think, gosh, something that strange where it'd be just on the head and, and it causes all the swelling where they really can't even be recognized. It's got to be an exotic bacteria or something we never uh, hear about. No, it's a bacteria uh, that's in our environment, in the puppy's environment all the time. Other puppies do fine with it. Their immune system wards it off and everything's good. But with some of our puppies, they get this, uh, they get this infection, a massive infection around their face. My goodness. Lymph nodes around their eyes. Uh, and the puppy strangles part, does that come from the so swollen they can't breathe? Exactly right. That, that's where they got that name. So the swimp nodes maybe get 10 times the normal size. Holy cow. So swollen they can't breathe. You just see them. Great big that's got, this sounds very serious then. It can be. Uh, it, there is an infection uh, that goes with it. Like I said, the bacterial infection. We treat that with antibiotics. Okay. Uh, it's not, like I said, an exotic thing. It will respond. Uh, shampooing to get, because these things drain. Uh, and okay. uh, so uh, shampooing con controls that. But most importantly is we put them on anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay. Drugs that will suppress the immune system and say, quit doing that, okay. relax, be yourself. So you quit reacting to, to where your puppy can get this. There are some cases though that don't respond well, Tim. Oh my. Maybe 10% um, uh, of them okay. don't do well and sometimes uh, they don't make it. And real quick, are there any certain breeds that we'll be looking for? There are some, uh, usually the bigger breeds. Now I brought somebody okay. that doesn't normally <laughs> get it. Yeah. Yeah, you like my finger, don't you? <laughs> um, the, those breeds are going to be like the Golden Retriever, the Labrador, mm -hmm. the Pointer, uh, the Beagle and Dachshund. Okay. Those are the top five, and I've seen Puppy Juvenile Pyoderma in all those breeds. Okay. Sounds good. Great information there. I never heard of that one. Thanks, Dr. Larson. You're welcome, Tim. We'll be coming right back.